After a long journey through space, scouring the galaxy for threats to his beloved Earth, Reptar woke up from a lengthy hypersleep with two new missions to finally go home and to warm himself up with a tasty breakfast burrito. But Reptar made a breakfast burrito-sized mistake. Boom goes the burrito and Reptar spaceship. Reptar realized he was on the moon. There was Earth, so close, yet so far. As our crafty clawed space hero was about to discover, he was not alone. But were they friends or foes? Reptar was about to find out as he bowed before their ruler, the small but charismatic Asteroid. Reptar explained that all he wanted to do was get back to his spaceship and skedaddle back home to Earth. Reptar just knew Asteroid would understand. He was trapped in an impenetrable biotope. If only someone could give him a hand or a vine. Reptar had made a friend. But his joy was cut short. Asteroid had his shrink ray pointed directly at Earth. <laughs> Could Reptar repair his spaceship before the alien shrink ray turned his beloved Earth into nothing more than a flying space disk? Where there's a leap, there's a way. No time for long goodbyes. He has to stop Asteroid. Reptar was too late, or was he? Earth had been saved, but Reptar was stranded leaving him with a brand new mission to protect Earth from alien invaders. Can Reptar do it? Will he ever make it back home to Earth? Does he know how to take care of a common space plant? These questions and more will be answered on the next Reptar in Space! Boy, this is the bestest place ever. Yeah. I wish we never had to leave. Hey, maybe we don't. What do you mean, Tommy? Maybe we can live here and play here forever.
it just me? Or is this train going faster and faster? Ask your parents to subscribe to Nickelodeon's Toymation YouTube channel.